Hi everyone, it's Gail, and we are back working on our um, World Bazaar uh, journal. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where, where my brain went there for a second. And I'd like to say hi and hugs before we get started to Joyce, Diana, Kelly's Cruises, and Tana. Thank you so much for your comments and your nice comments and for watching it all. Okay, well, I have a couple things I wanted to do here, so let's get started working. Um, I did these die cuts of these wreaths, and now I can't remember where we're going to put them. <laughs> so, so I've got to kind of look through. I thought there was a spot that we, I said was just right. And so I would leave that blank right here. That's it. Okay, so I did two colors. I couldn't remember. Probably the green's going to be the best, isn't it? I don't know. Ooh, I like that better. Okay, well, I'm going to put that in there. Toss this one over into my... Um, into my bu bucket over there. Okay, let's do that first. <laughs> yeah, I, I sat down to start working and I'm like, um, where was that going to go? Sorry, guys, all my glues are falling down in my little bucket and they're bugging me. Okay. Okay. Guys, you guys all just stay. Okay, here's this one. Now, let's see how good this is going to work today. Yesterday, not so good. So, hope you're all having a good day. Good day here. Beautiful weather. Not so hot, so it's beautiful. Um, yeah. Mike and I have gotten a bunch of errands run. It's it's a good one. This is interesting too. This is one of those things that Artie Mays puts glue on her hand and then runs something through it. This would be that would be good technique for this one. It's a little fiddly. That's okay. We'll get it. All right. And I'm gonna stick you like so. Right on there. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, and then there was other like little tiny branches. And so I might put a few of those in there too, just for fun. Because that the die cut comes with the two wreaths. So this one has the leaves and the other one is kind of, I, I don't know. It's different though than this one. Just gonna, just gonna fill in my wreath a little bit, just for, just for cause I have a maid. So, um, might as well use them, right? I mean, I could use these leaves just on other things. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. But we'll we'll do a couple of. Oh, that's going to be, we'll do right there. Okay. My idea is this, this bush right here. Am I on camera showing you this? Oh, just barely. Um, this, I was thinking, what if I took a few of these little, little things and if I can even grab them. What if I put a few of those like this? Yeah, that would give it a little more dimension, wouldn't it? I'm going to get, hang on, if I can find them. There they are. I'm going to get my tweezers because this will be easier. And I'm sorry, I keep falling off my chair. <laughs> oh, 
it's just one of those days, I guess. Okay. Get you over to the... Okay, what else do we have to work with here? We have this one. It's just kind of long and skinny. I'm going to put that one there. Okay. How fun is this? This is, I'm really glad I got this die cut. And this is a Tim Holtz Sizzix die cut, and it's called um, Funky Wreaths. Aptly named, I would say. Okay, I want one, one more, one. I wanted one more, but I don't think it's gonna, maybe I could do like a little leaf like that and then just, just gonna tear that off. That's what I'm gonna do. Nothing says we gotta keep that whole branch. Oh, I just think that's super fun. Really like that. Okay. Make this one go out the top. Like so. Well, that's just real fun. Okay, I have three more little spikies, but I'm going to just... Um, gosh, where? I'm just going to um, put them in my die cut bowl. So yeah, so this one's this one's got leaves, and then this one's see is just kind of spiky around. So after I get done filming today, I want to make some more of those in some other colors too. But I'm very happy with that. Other than it's not quite as sparkly as some of our pages. Let's see. Let's do, I'm going to do some sparkles on it. So there's these little lines around the, um, the owl. So I'm going to take the longest line and we're just going to put a little stickles on there. that. Hmm. Might have to do a few more. Yeah, this will be better. Okay. Okay. So, we need to let that dry. We might, we might need a little something to make his crown stand out too, right? I'm just going to put some, I'm going to put some jewels on it. Like that. Okay. So that needs to dry. Meanwhile, we are going to work on a frame. So I have one of these big um, big envelopes and I just want to see because it's going to go back here I think it's going to go here so I could make it longer and then like put um, a label or something so I think I'll do that because I want it to cover most all of the page. Okay. So now we can set this aside to dry. Just set it over here and we'll work on this for a little bit. Okay. How about we give it a chop, make it the size we want. Do that. I'm gonna keep that. That could be a side tuck or something. 
Um, I'm just going to barely skim off the top of this so that it can be a pocket if we want. Or do I want to just do the pocket behind it? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's think about this. How big is this? It's about right there. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. Happens every video these days. So, I think right about there would be close to even. Yeah, I think I'm going to just make it a pocket behind is what I'm going to do. So, um, so we need to find my picture. I, I'm hoping that she will fit in there. I'm hoping, hoping. Um, these are Mrs. Cog's Crafts. This one is Bohemian Days. This one is The Gypsies. Ooh, say those two couple things holding my breath. Um, okay. Yep, that's good. And chopped off. We'll see how she fits in there. how she fits and cut her down if necessary okay but I think she's going to be just a-okay just like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let's go ahead and stick her down got <laughs> I've got strings from our fag fabric flip all over the place here Goes. This stuff's so much softer than the magic blue. I like it. I mean, it's fine. It sticks great, but I'm, I, I haven't adjusted my pressure. <laughs> so, okay. So let's put her right about there. Oops. What do we got happening here? Okay. There she is looking proud and gorgeous in all of her blingies. Okay. Um, oh, I gotta leave that this open because we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put some papers on this. Um I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down because I'm just going to use it as a pocket. I'm not going to use it as a pocket that covers her up, if that makes sense. I just wanted a frame and I wanted to have some um, acetate on the frame. Okay, so we can use some papers here. Um, we could use some of these. We haven't used these yet. And we, oh, we could use some of these. Look at these shiny papers. Oh, I love that one. That look pretty with her. What do you think? Yeah. Actually, I might go like that with that one. 
Mm, I think that's beautiful. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to get this about the right size here. All those glues that I stood up just fell down when I did that. So that's going to go on the bottom of the frame, like so. Those back in. Okay. And then I think these two would be pretty with it. And these are uh, on label paper, so I'm going to have to, let me just cut those off. That yeah, was close. <laughs> got, a, got a little white streak. So i just... Off of there. Okay. And then I'm just going to chop them up here. little bit of a tedious lineup but we got it okay all right so should be done with that I think I like this one the best. I don't want it to be blocked off like that, if you know what I mean. I don't think. So, I need to cut that right there. Oh, I re didn't remember my long scissors again. I can do this and make it long, make it wide enough. Okay. Nope. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Maybe this one's wider. Oh, I know what I'll do. I have, I have a solution. I do, I do. Okay, so how long do we want this thing? First, first things first. How long? About to there. So that could be a little bit of a, a little bit of a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this down and then put the other one. It's kind of a bit of a waste, but be more of a waste if I didn't use them at all because I cut them wrong, right? Okay. 
Okay, and then this one I'm going to just put down the side. There's always a fix for everything. I always say that because I believe it to be true. Okay. And then I'm thinking... I was thinking about putting this across the side, kind of like that. And then I'm thinking about like a braid or something, you know, one of our fun. Ah, that's my sewing scissors. That's why I never bring them out. <laughs> Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, and so this one needs to be, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it long and trim it off. That's what I'm gonna do. Like about here. We'll see how we did. We might have to do the same thing we did on the other side, who knows. Oh, so, no, that's just great. Okay, those are extra pieces. Okay, Oop, I'm going to go this way. Like that. Okay, so then I want a piece of something, you know, one of these, one of these wonderful trims. Ooh, look at this one. I wonder if this is wide enough. Yeah, I think I can distress that and I think that's what I'm gonna do so this will go like that and that will come down the side okay cool let's do it okay so first things first I'm going to distress down that side I didn't need my glue stick after all did I I had peely paper. Okay, I'm going to do up here too because there's a little bit of white showing. Okay. Okay, I'm going to glue this down here. Just making sure this isn't sticky paper. Couldn't tell for sure. This was from back in the days when I accepted happy mail. And so it's, um, I can't remember. I think it's been a year now since I stopped accepting happy mail. See, it goes so good for a minute, and then it goobers up again. Goodness. Really shouldn't be so difficult, should it? Okay that and then this I want to do just 
just down this side. Once again, I need to clean this up a little bit. Okay. This is going to go all the way down the side. Okay. But I need... First of all, I need to cut this off. It's a little too, it's a little too long. Okay, then I need to give it some ink. I guess I might as well. haven't gone over it yet let's see this is what is this part five I think so if you haven't gone over to the snippet shop yet you need to do it <laughs> to get yourself some of these gorgeous trims before they're gone I looked at Walmart today. I was going to buy some Fabri-Tac there, but they don't have it now. They have, at least at our Walmart, they have um, Aileen's Fabric Fusion, it's called, which I've never tried. And so I was like, yeah, I just won't buy anything. I'll get it on my on my favorite things instead, which is what I should do. So... Okay. Ah. See, I am going to lay that down because I'm going to want to do the edges again. Yep, just going to get sticky. That's all there is to it, Gail. You're just going to. So now I'll just put a tiny bit along the edge just to keep that from going anywhere. Okay. Well, there is a little frame pocket. I feel like I'd like something right along there, however. So, what? What would it be? Green? No. Um, what do I have in here? Ooh. About some of these. I'm going to cut off a row of those and just see. They're at my perfect five number that I like to use. I think I like that. Um, we talked about a label or something. I don't know that it needs it. What about, um, something, where are my, here they are, just 
two lumpies. I kind of like that. Do I like it better without the sound? Nope, I like it with that. Okay. The more the better, right? Let's just say the more the better. Okay. It's going to be the lumpiest, bumpiest journal. But that's okay because um, we're going to make a writing board as part of this project at some point. been kind of fun to just be able to leave stuff out and and just keep on going with this project okay and we'll do these oh, maybe we'll do these look at it's hanging from my finger <laughs> Might have to take a moment with a, a little bit of a baby wipe here and wipe off my hands. Okay, let that dry. I wonder how my sparkles are. I bet they're not quite dry yet. Um. Okay, so, but I like that. Do you guys like that? So that's going to just, that's going to be a pocket on that front page. Okay. Um, okay. All right, that's helpful. <laughs> Get a little... A little of the glue off anyway. Let's look at this. It's getting there, but not there yet. Okay, so this is going to go here. Oh my gosh, look at that with that. <laughs> I just love it when things happen like they're supposed to. Okay, I feel like I need to do something around the edges, though, of that page. And then we'll put this nearly at the bottom, and then we can stick a little tag or something back there. Okay, but do we just want a stencil, maybe? Maybe so. Um, I wonder if I, what do I have? I'm looking, oh, I'm going to take this and put it, well... I was trying to put it with my page. Now I have sparkles on this side. That's all right. Okay. I think we can do this. It'll be awkward, but you know, I think we can manage it well enough that we can get her done. Let it out again. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, I tell you what. Oh, I can use my punch. It won't slide anywhere. Um, I can always put some more stickles on it when we get done for the day. And, you know, once I'm... Picking up, and this guy's just going to sit. It can sit with stickles on it. I'll just add a few more. Okay, and then this goes right there. I'm 
just want something so it's not quite so light. So how are we going to do this? Very carefully. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, there's still some on there, but it's definitely compromised. So I'll do it. I'll do it before we quit for today. Okay, so we did that. We've got lots of time left. Um, I wonder. I think I can put this down. Okay, be with me, glue. Work with me here. I went months without having any problems with the glue. So I'm kind of... That's doing good. Ugh, it just... It, it, the stickles. I think the stickles were not meant to be. Mm. I don't like this because then it dries while I'm trying to get the doggone thing to work. There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> oh, some days, some days. Now we wanted this fairly low because, yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I love this too. It's so funny because I don't do that many journals of this style but when I do I just have a ball doing them okay so that's going to need a tag at some point isn't it okay so there you are we can just let you sit and kind of dry okay so let's I wanted to move this. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. Well, before we move on, I wanted to show you this. Um, see this pocket that is in Ruth? So she's just got a little, little fun thing in there. But, um, but isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm thankful for you too, Ruth. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is make a little something that it could probably go on a page, but I had to go to the, to the pharmacy, and so I thought, what if we do for the for the um, small white page in the back, this one, what if we do like a full page pocket? Yep, right about there. Okay. Let's just do a full page pocket with my pharmacy sack. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is chop the top because I would like it to be straight rather than the bag look, I think. Would I? I kind of like the bag. Okay, well, we'll chop this to make it a pocket too. So 
we'll just do that. Um, I'm going to put something in that. I might have to redo it when we cover it, but I don't want to forget. But that didn't go well. to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So, we are going to just cover this, but let's... go down the sides just because some of it will sh probably show after we as we do the decorating Yeah, we'll have to go clear to the top of that because otherwise the blue will show. Okay, so what are we going to use to cover it? That is the question. I was going to look from the um, kit and see if there's stuff I'm not going to use. And here, could we use some of the papers? Mm -hmm. Envelopes, double journal cards, those are great. There's a lot of fun stuff here. So, okay, maybe we won't use that. I uh, don't really want to use scrapbooking paper. I don't make it too thick. But we might just use some of these. That's good. Just like that. Okay. That up there. That would be cute. Okay. Get to it. These little sticks aren't going to last me but a blink in the eye, I can tell you that. Blink of the eye, blink in the eye. <laughs> going to gonna chop this one right there okay and then I'm gonna chop it put that right there Chop it just barely. The E just barely makes an appearance. <laughs> okay. Okay, I 
think I'll put this up here. really been fun just making ephemera <laughs> as as we go you know usually I use so much of what's in my box which I do have over there but we haven't gotten to that yet we will okay yeah this journal is going to end up being an idea book <laughs> Okay, and then that goes up like that. Got a little here we need to trim. Okay. okay, so now we need to do a little piecemeal. I really like that. So let's cut that and put that on part of the bottom. If I had my long scissors, I think I could cut some of these just without the cutter, but, um, but I don't, so <laughs> it is upstairs. Okay, let's just put that there. Alrighty, now we need a little strip here, and that isn't sticking to that, nope. A um, little strip there, and a little something right here. Do I have any other bits? looking like that's it okay so we need to do something here do I want to do pink I'm gonna cut that pink off oh how about that little flower that'd be cute let's go right up here Just put that little guy right there, or right that, like that. Okay, it's going to go there and cut a little strip off of that. That's a little more interesting. She's going for it, sports fans. Okay, put that right there. We're kind of pieced together. Whoops. Okay. So, okay, we're good. About 10 minutes ish. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm deciding now if I want trim there, which I probably do. So I may not, because I can't put it up here or I cover up my little words. Okay, well, let's go ahead and glue this. Let's go 
glue is seriously trying my patience. Okay, why can't you just do that all the time? All right. Stick that down. And this is gusseted, so it's got plenty of room, as does this. Okay. What kind of trim would we like? Woo, that's bright. Um, I have this piece. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Might as well use up that piece, I think. Look at that glue just working perfectly. Okay. Um, other thing I think I might do is I might take a little bit of vintage photo and kind of, that's just too white for me. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, so we have bits and pieces, which is good because we have tags to make and stuff. Okay, let's put you then back here, like so. Once again, I think I'll go sideways and then something can tuck down in there. So we'll do that. Let's see how we do with our glue. Slick as a whistle. Thank you, glue. Really nice. Oh, I didn't do anything to the back of this, did I? Oh, well, that's okay. Because we'll have um, something poking out the side that's going to cover up all of that. So... That was good stroke of business. Got the frame done, got the sack done. It's like we get two things done every video. <laughs> I'll be like, okay guys, it's November, it's time for Christmas drills. <laughs> okay, you know what we could do is just do the edge a little bit. That wouldn't hurt a thing. All right, so there's that, many pockets in that. Yep, she's getting chunky. I want her to be much rounder than she is though. Okay, and <laughs> we still have these. But if we don't put anything on this one, I'm gonna be okay with that. We'll do some stenciling or something, I don't know. We may come up with another full page idea, so. Oh, I have one we could do is the long pocket and two small pockets. I could do that. So that's a thought. But let's, in our remaining time together, which is, what, only a few minutes. Let's kind of look at that and see, Do is there, do we need to do much more to that, do you think? Um I'm feeling, again, like some dighty bones down the side would be nice. Do I have... Oh, I have these. Three of those would be good right there, I think. And then maybe 
I could do a little stickles on this, maybe. Boy, that's pretty sticky. Sorry, guys, I can't get hold of it. These are a little stamping up. They're called gold faceted gems. Okay, that's nice. I mean, the paper itself is so pretty that you don't need a whole lot, but let's mess around with a little more stickles on this and see. Is this flower? Is, oh, jeez. <laughs> I leaned on my ruler. <laughs> I almost smacked myself in the face with my ruler. Oh. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Oh, goodness. Okay. I want it to be super thick. Just a little hint. kind of thin it out on that part. I actually think this is going to be kind of nice on here. It's going for kind of a thin line. A hint of glue of uh, stickles, not not a whole glob. Yeah, that's okay. Should I put a dot in the stars? Okay, I think that we're going to call that done. So that can sit, sit there and dry. And then <laughs> let us try to fix the owl a little bit. Where are you, where are you Mr. Owl? There you are. Well, all that dried. Unfortunately, most of it came off. <laughs> oh. Which is going to add a bit more back in here. And then I'll Go ahead and, oops, that's what you do when you mess up, just wipe it off. Okay. All right, so bear with me for a sec. I kind of like the idea of having a little on the leaves, just a bit. Yeah, that makes it, um, what, not stand out. Yeah, stand out a bit. It's not so flat. Yeah, I like that. Let's 
Let's do a little bit on these too. Yep. It's a little bit snowy in this owl's world. That's what it is. Okay. So now I am going to put this back in here and it's just going to sit. It's going to sit. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much. We had yet another day of work in our in our World Bazaar journal. So thanks for crafting with me and we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye everyone.